Hi everyone, hope you're well. Another episode to Road to Endgame, and this one is just coming to the end of tournament. So it's uh, I've got well, I'm in sixth place. I might be able to push a little bit more to get to fifth, but I think that's uh, the best I could do at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't push as much as I wanted to, but it's still fine. Top five, hopefully, I can get top five. Uh, works quite well with me. So I'm just going to do um, a little push to end this tournament so that it's coming to an end and then I'll do uh, answer questions from the last video. Uh, thanks very much for all your comments, by the way. It's been absolutely amazing. I think like over 70 comments since the last um, video, like two days ago. So that's really overwhelming. So I try to answer as much as I can. And uh, yeah, thank you for commenting. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified when our next release, next Tap Titans 2 video. I've just unlocked the next hero, so hopefully that's going to give me a massive push, which is fantastic. So I'm I'm speeding up quite quite well. So uh, it's quite fortunate I just unlocked a new hero because I think I can get even further. Hopefully, if I can get to fourth place, which is I think eighteen thousand six hundred and something. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we're still not out of the run just yet, but uh, yeah, that's quite exciting. Yeah, baby. What position am I in? Fourth. Fourth place. Not bad. But I still got a lot to go to get third. So, mm. If I have an all skill drop in the next 10 minutes, that'll be that'll be the end, I think. It's one final last little push. Which is what I need. This will be our, our last little push. How well can we do? Come on, little my, my little sword master. I know you can do it. I know you got a little bit of power in you yet, son. Come on. Push. Push. I can give him birth or something. Give me some gold. Give me some gold. Yes. What are these? <gasps> yeah. Let's activate these skills a bit longer. Yes. I believe in you, Solaris. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Tippy tappy every night and day. Spread those heavenly strikes all the way. We well, don't really need heavenly strike, but you get the drift. You get the drift. Yes, I've had a bit of sun today, so I'm probably rambling about some random stuff that's not even relevant to the video. Will I keep it in the edit? Oh, who knows? Probably. Probably. All right, 10 minutes to get enough mana to regen that. But uh, one man now, I'm in third place. I knew it, third place. But still a long way off to second, so I don't... I don't even think I can push to second. But third place is not too bad. Ten minutes to go. Third place. That's a happy soul rise. Considering that I think I needed like two or three, three... I think, no, three or four runs in this tournament. So if I did a lot more runs, and obviously I could have leveled up my artifacts a lot more, pushed a lot more, but... Yeah, for the amount of effort put in. Not bad at all. Not bad. So, uh, comments from last one. So, I've got 17x says, Hey, Soul Rise, how far should I push in tournament? Because I don't want my next tournament to be with stronger people. Uh, I put, in tournament, push as far as you can go. As the higher you go, the more relics. And each, test, uh, each tournament is based on your current potential. So, you're not going to be put with extremely strong people just because you're pushed. You're, you're, you're put with your current potential. So, it doesn't really matter. So, in tournament, I always push as far as I possibly can because in tournament time, it's time to level up your artifacts. It's pushing times. So push, push, push. Uh, also, it means you, you, you know, get more relics, level up more as well. Uh, another one from Eclipse. What sets should I complete first when I'm starting? Uh, normally the first two is Noble Fencer or Ancient Warrior Mythic set. Uh, whichever order you want, it's totally up to you. You can do Noble Fencer first. That increases your, well, basically shortens your runtime, makes it a bit faster. Or you can do Ancient Warrior. Uh, it's a Mythic set, so it does take a bit of time to complete. Uh, Maga says... If I'm 60 shards away from increasing my crafting power and I have 64 shards, is it worth to buy some random legendary piece during a tournament to increase my uh, crafting power? Now, I don't know other, other people's opinion, but myself, I would say no. Because uh, crafting, uh, crafting power won't do that much extra push 
that you wouldn't get up by just doing a couple of runs and just leveling up your artifacts anyway. So instead of um, using shards, which is hard to come by, shards are, are hard to craft. So I'd rather save them to add to a new mythic item to complete your set than to just buy something random. Uh, again, as I said, the, the, the power difference you get from the crafting power increase, you can gain from just a couple runs normally anyway, from just leveling up your artifacts. So you're better off using your uh, crafting shards for uh, completing a set than something random. That's uh, what I personally think. And it, or you got, um, someone said, uh, Sky Lee said three half, 300 crafting shards. So I'm guessing they've got 300 crafting shards. Should have try to get the anniversary platinum and eternal monk first i don't have quite good enough splash before buying mythics uh nope um if you splash your splash damage is going to be extremely extremely low to start with so those those kind of um sets legendary sets not going to make much difference because uh, overall your splash power is, power is going to be low because your passive skills which are these ones here on the first tab they're all going to be low anyway uh what would help is completing noble fencer because that gives you an advanced start and join a higher clan so your uh, advanced stage start which basically means when you prestige you start at a high level will give you uh, a shorter run time a lot quicker than completing those two anniversary platinum or internal monk so if you want to make your run times quicker the the quickest way to do it is to basically increase your advanced stage start so you get shorter run time uh, by joining a higher level clan and uh, or get noble fencer that one of those two things so i recommend doing that and um, i reckon to buy instead of buying random legend well not really random legendary sets but i'll get a noble fencer or, or ancient warrior first especially ancient warrior ancient warrior is one of the best mythic sets so try to get that one first someone said you plan to switch from form uh, clanship uh pet harmadas uh pet harmadas <laughs> that sound well posh pet harmadas um, pet heart madas soon uh anytime soon or do you think you're going to stick with it until end game that's from alex hey alex how you doing uh i'll probably stick with it for a very long time some people still even have uh the this clanship to end game because like it's the more obviously the more you level up the faster and faster it gets and it's a strong reliable build so some people actually stick with it until like the whole game uh, but I reckon when I get about a thousand skill points and if my passives and I've got decent sets and by then there might be loads of different updates by then. So they might, uh, you know, increase the power of, of clan ships. I might stick with it and they might nerf it and might actually increase pet, which I doubt it, to be honest. But things change. So I don't know right now. But for the moment, for the moment to at least I get near a thousand skill points, I'll stick with clan ship. So I think I've got like 400 and something. So I'm, I'm halfway there. So for the moment. Uh, Modokan uh, said a question which is are you going to do some games on your main account I like to see some videos from Endgame especially your 88 to 98k uh, so at the moment I'm at 89k on my main account I will probably do some more videos towards the end game. If, I, if I'm like a couple, um, like 1,000 1, stage away the likely is I'll probably do a live stream um, doing showing me hitting end game as like a celebration with you guys um, there's no real point doing any guides for end games because what like when you get to an end game it's just grinding you've got all the you've got all the artifacts you've got the all the the um you know mythic sets equipment sets where well, you should have by then you should have all pretty much all the sets you probably have all the um enchantments artifacts everything so when you're near that stage end game pretty much all you're doing is grinding doing runs and leveling your artifacts and you don't even really need to use an artifact optimizer anymore you just pretty much level up all of them um so there's not it's basically it's boring there's not much do you learn from or see near end game but for the last like thousand stages i'll probably stream it live just to celebrate with you guys really uh joseph p said how do you know when it's auto saved i was playing and close to and closed the game and when i reopened a couple minutes later i had dropped like 200 stages uh so what i said well basically it, it it saves automatically normally i don't know how quick it is if it's every minute or something but it does auto save automatically um the only time it doesn't save is if basically loss of internet connection so for example you've got low internet or if um yeah pretty much that because it needs to connect to the server so sometimes i found like in my house if i've gone to an area of the house which have low wi wi-fi and then i close it down when i open it back up um 
yeah, I've lost a few stages just because it hasn't saved. And that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, David or uh, D D A V D E D D D D D D D D D D D D um, I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. It says, sorry, could you, uh, could you explain a bit more in detail taunts me? Should I join an hour before it ends? I keep hearing 2024, but I don't quite know what that means. Does that mean can I join after 20th hour? Okay, so uh, tournaments are basically 24 hours long. Now, when you join, depending if you join quite late or, or middle, sometimes it pits you, you might join and you see you've got 23 hours remaining or maybe 22 hours remaining. The reason being is when you join a tournament, it's you've got a four hour joining window. OK, so um, the reason I give you four hours is because everyone around the world joins. So it gives the um, servers or the brackets time for people to join and put them in in basically uh, but, uh, right areas potentials brackets areas um, you can imagine if they gave like basically everyone half an hour or something bracket time to join the tournament it'd be complete chaos and it'd be overbalanced and stuff so basically there's a four hour joining window so it just means that when you join you either have 24 hours remaining or 20 hours remaining somewhere in between that uh, which basically means whenever you join the tournament if under 20 hours whatever you see in the list on your tournament those are set those players are set so sometimes you might join and you see there's like five players or the tournament's empty if you're under 20 hours that is set so you're guaranteed an empty tournament which is fantastic sometimes that happens uh so what the reason being is say some people will say join last minute this is completely different to the 20 24 hour bracket that's just joining time some people try joining at the last minute so before the uh, tournament's about to end um like a minute or two because uh, apparently it could mean less people in your tournament uh, the only problem with that is that it's well it hasn't been confirmed so it might not work and two that you might miss it so if you cut it too close and maybe there's a glitch or the internet connection or something where you miss it then you have missed that tournament completely so that's the only problem with that you know well risk pretty much uh, but that's yeah well, that's what a 20 and 24 hour period joining period means it just means that when you join it's within a four hour bracket time of where people can join so it's four hours where people can join and then after the 20th hour that's it it's locked in people are locked in the tournament uh so it's uh, saul 3983 says hey so right like your vids thanks buddy um i'm playing for 18 days now my max stage is 14,500. is it worth the grind dragon fruits for the top 30 percent top 10 um well Play at your, your speed, mate. Play at your casual speed. Uh, it is worth grinding because on these tournaments, so, so bring bring it up on my screen. So when whenever you uh, get a badge, you get these title bonuses, which are active during the tournament. So during the, uh, sorry, not tournament, the event. So during the event, I think it's like 22, 24 days long, the event lasts. So when you hit these brackets, these bonuses get uh, activated. So for example, like if you're in uh, top 30%, you get plus 2% rage damage, plus 50% mana. Uh, it lessens the Titan count, which basically means you runs a bit faster. Um, now when the tournament is, uh, the yeah, when the event is finished, the badge bonus is a permanent bonus. You, you have that forever. So this one, for example, if you reach top 30, you get a times one, uh, 1000 all damage forever and if you get top 10 it's times 10k damage forever so obviously if you start stacking up the badges you get more power more increase and obviously it makes you quicker for the game but i st do stress that um please play at your own pace yes it is worth collecting a dragon um well th those dragon fruits that they're called now uh just because it, the bonuses you get from them are beneficial long term but I wouldn't play so much to give yourself burnout. I believe the top 10% people have to do like 15 prestiges every day for the, the, the 22 hour, uh, 22 day period, which is a lot. And that's a lot of time. So I uh, play at casual speed. Yes, it would be nice to have a badge, but not if it not if it ends up burnout and you don't want to play the game anymore. So just casually collect them. Um, the, the easiest one to think of is try your best in tournaments and just make sure you do your uh, daily achievements because you get um, dragon fruits for all of them, and especially for the uh, daily uh, daily diamond fairies, I think it's like 15 each. So you get, you get quite a lot just for you do your daily stuff and for the daily um, diamond farms, that, well, diamonds that drop, and tournaments. So they're not those main ones, uh, 
well, you get quite a lot just from doing that. So yeah, just concentrate on them really. Uh, Moss Antos 17 says, my LTR is 28 right now. How do I make it higher? Uh, he didn't specifically say which LTR. Now, when you, we talk about LTR uh, in speech, comments, uh, uh, community in general, it's basically referring to lifetime relics. So lifetime relics is this bit here. So it says percentage of lifetime relics. So when someone says, for example, um, for say slang talk, someone says, what's your LTR of your BOP? That might be a comment. It basically means uh, what's your lifetime relics of your book of, prop, uh, book of prophecy? And mine would be 2.315. So some uh, most common one would be what's your LTR of your BOS? And so my LTR of my books of shadows would be 17% lifetime relics. So this um, Moss Santos said, uh, my LTR is 28 right now. How, how do I make it higher? Now, if he's on about his books of shadows lifetime relics, um, a percentage amount just put more just put more relics into it so each time you prestige you get relics so you just level it up um so obviously upgrade it on this button here and each time you put more relics into it um, and not anything else it will level this up so if you put a hundred percent max into uh, books of shadows it will level that up higher and higher uh, same with anything else if you put more relics into uh, another item it will level this up as well uh, that's how you do it uh, someone says the, a, uh, the AG Gaming 1985 says, does stockpile equipment uh, count to the potential? And if not, is it viable strategy for tournaments? Um, stockpile doesn't count, for as uh, far as I'm aware of, uh, stockpile equipment doesn't count. When someone says stockpile equipment, it means this. It means before they join the tournament, they collect it, but don't, um, the, base, the item drops on the uh, screen, but they just don't collect it. Now, I would stockpile some, like, I don't know, like 20 or something, but I wouldn't spot, uh, stockpile too much because I've seen some people stockpile like 70 or 90 uh, equipment. Uh, there's two reasons for that. It's because, uh, well, you can you can stockpile a lot if you want, like, you know, like 50 or whatever. Um, it's tied up to you, but you've got equipment of 100. So if you stockpile, say, 90 items, when you go to equip them, your oldest item you got uh, gets sold, gets deleted. So if you wanted to actually keep one of your oldest items, uh, then you got a chance of it actually getting lost. So uh, I wouldn't stockpile more than it could pass the 100 total. So at the moment that would leave me, what, uh, 59? So yeah, that's that, that's what my person would do. Um, and also if you stockpile too much and, you, uh, well, there's two reasons why it would be good because when you join, you obviously get, um, you can sell all the rubbish ones for diamonds and you can use diamonds for like maybe a Titan chest or, or pets. And you could actually get a nice drop. You might be lucky enough to get a mythic or legendary drop that you can use. But then again, just stockpile just before tournament. If you're stockpiling at the beginning of the week, you potentially could have got a good item that you could use throughout the week to you know help grind a bit more faster. So yeah, I'll do it just before tournament. Now that's all the major ones for this video. Um, thank you so much for leaving the comments. I love answering them. Uh, as said, leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'll try to answer every single comment I come across and I will answer them all in the next video as well. So uh, if you have enjoyed this, uh, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out tremendously. Um, we're smashing it now, guys. I think not that far from 5K. But apart from that, have a fantastic day. Uh, catch you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.